Today we'll be talking about NASA discovers seven Earth-sized planets. So a NASA telescope has revealed a large batch of Earth-sized habitable zone planets around just a single star. The Spitzer Space Telescope has revealed the first known system with seven Earth-sized planets around this star. Three of these planets are firmly located within the habitable zone. This is the area around a parent star where a rocky planet is most likely to have liquid water. The discovery sets a new record for the greatest number of habitable zone planets found around a single star, outside of our solar system. In fact, all of these seven planets could harbour liquid water, and this is pretty much the key to life as we know it, but the chances are highest with the three habitable zone planets. This star is located 40 light years away from Earth, in the constellation of Aquarius. Because they are located outside of our solar system, these planets are scientifically known as exoplanets. The exoplanet system is called TRAPPIST-1, and it is named after a telescope that specialises in exoplanets, located in Chile. In May 2016, researchers at this telescope discovered three exoplanets in this system. Later on, other telescopes, like the Spitzer Space Telescope, confirmed the existence of two of these planets, and discovered five more planets in their results. This increased the system to seven planets. Using the data from the Spitzer Space Telescope, the team measured the size of all the seven planets, and developed the first estimates of the masses of just six of them. Based on these density results, these TRAPPIST-1 planets are likely to be all rocky. Further observations will allow us to determine if these planets are rich in water, and also reveal if this water is on the surface. The mass of the seventh and most further out planet has not been estimated. Scientists believe that it's quite icy, but further observations are needed. In contrast to our Sun, the TRAPPIST-1 star is classified as an ultra-cool dwarf, and the star is so cool that liquid water can survive on the planets that are orbiting very close to it. All seven planets in this system orbit closer to its host star than Mercury does to our Sun. This means that the planets are also very close to each other. If a person was standing on the surface of the planet, they could gaze up and potentially see geological features or clouds of the neighbouring worlds. This means that some planets could appear larger than the Moon in the Earth's sky. The planet may also be tidally locked to its star. This means that the same side of the planet is always facing towards the star. This could potentially have very diverse weather patterns, such as strong blowing winds, from the day side to the night side, and extreme temperature changes. Spitzer is an infrared telescope that orbits around the Earth, so basically it's a space telescope. It is also well suited to studying TRAPPIST-1, because the star glows brightest in infrared light, and these wavelengths are longer than our eyes can see. In 2016, Spitzer observed this system for nearly 500 continuous hours. Spitzer uniquely positioned its orbit to observe the crossing of these transits of the planets. This basically means as the planet goes in front of the host star, it blocks out a little bit of light, and the telescope can sense this. The spacecraft's observations will allow astronomers to refine the properties of the known planets, as well as search for additional planets in the system but to be honest, it's only really scratched the surface. Spitzer, Hubble and Kepler have all helped astronomers, but the real main event will be the James Webb Space Telescope in 2018. This will have a greater sensitivity, and the JWST will be able to detect chemical fingerprints such as water, methane, oxygen, ozone and other compositions in the planet's atmosphere. Webb will also be able to analyse planets' temperatures and surface pressures, and this will be key features to assessing if these planets have life. 